GNSS works in space, in the clouds, and even in concrete jungles. But underwater, it immediately disappears. When you're underwater, you completely lose the signal because the satellite signals cannot penetrate through the water surface. For swimmers and athletes, that's a real problem. But here's the thing, for crawling, every arm stroke, your arm goes out of the water and the situation completely changes. We have a couple of milliseconds to capture the satellite signals and this is how we approach it. The chip we used was already powerful, but to make it swim, we had to teach it to think differently. A key challenge was to figure out how the motion of the wrist of the swimmer relates to the body, and then to model that accordingly and estimate an optimal position. In the beginning, we were very bad in this case, so you could see that the tracks that we were producing were not reflecting at all what the swimmer was doing. That's why we spend hours and hours testing out on the lake. It's important for us that we have data that reflects real-life use cases. And after this test data was delivered to the developers and they worked on it, we now have a pretty functioning swimming mode. We are now able to deliver precise positioning for swimmers in open water, helping athletes everywhere track their speed, distance, and training progress. The new swimming mode, developed with athletes, tested in real life, optimized for every stroke. 